Hi everyone, Guy from Midwinter Minis here. In this episode of my Speed Painting Blackstone Fortress series, I'll show you how to paint up the Crute Tracker Diac Grec in less than one hour, using simple techniques and just nine basic paints. I would recommend priming this model grey, as it will make the earth tones this model will mostly be much easier to paint, mostly only needing one thin coat. So let's start the clock and get painting. First, use your black paint thinned with a little water to paint his hair spikes. Uh, be super messy with this, we'll be covering everything later, so uh, just get the paint on as fast as you can. Also, paint the armour panel on his belly. Throw a little black up into the hard to see spots under his cape, just to make sure you've got coverage. You won't see this part normally, but it's better to have black under there than grey poking through. Also, paint the armour panels on his shins and shoulder too. If you're matching the official basing guide or following my own speed painting guide, paint the base black too. Next, mix your red paint with your brown paint in a 1 to 1 ratio, and use this rich warm brown to paint the outside and inside of his cape. Also, paint the strap on his rifle with this colour too. If you accidentally get this colour on your black, your black paint will still be wet on your palette at this point, so quickly fix your edges. Now mix your green paint with your pale flesh tone, thinned with a little water, and use this pale green to paint Dayak's skin. It's sometimes tricky to tell what's skin and what's clothing, but if you're in doubt, hit it with the green anyway. After that, use your pale flesh tone on its own to paint the rifle furniture, as well as any straps, clothing and pouches on the model. Next, I'll use my grey paint to touch up the vials, containers and pistol on Dayak's utility belt, so the silver will cover better later on. So this is where we are in terms of base coating. As you can see, it's very basic and a little bit sloppy, but we are aiming for speed, so let's keep going. Next, we're going to mix white paint with our pale flesh tone to create an off-white ivory and dry brush the entire model to create some quick, easy highlights. Work the paint into your dry brush and remove as much as possible. When your brush looks like it's leaving almost nothing behind on whatever you're wiping it on, start to work the brush in sweeping motions across the model. All we're doing is accentuating raised areas, not trying to push it into the recesses. Once you're happy with that, we'll crack out our silver paint, thin it slightly so it flows nicely, and paint the barrel and blades on the rifle. You can also paint any parts of the gun body you'd like to be silver too. I then swapped out to my detail brush to have a bit more control, and used the silver paint on his techie hairband, as well as his cybernetic eye and the implant at his temple. I also used the silver to catch the vials on his belt too. I then used grey and white paint to overbrush the rubble and debris on the base too, just like in all the other models we've painted in the series. So just over 35 minutes in, and our base coating, dry brushing and metallic stages are done, and Dayak is ready for the wash stage. 
First, we'll use our brown wash to paint almost the entire model, everywhere except the black and silver areas. Brown adds a nice natural shading to most earth tone colours, even green, apparently. As long time viewers will know, I'm actually red green colour blind, so fingers crossed this doesn't look awful. Penny's not here to give me colour advice at the moment because we have guests staying, and I'm currently doing this at 6am. When your brown wash is dry, break out your black wash and shade the black and silver parts. I also ran a line of black wash under the big flap in his cape and dabbed a bit into his eye socket too, just to add a bit of definition. If you're doing your bases like mine, use the black wash on the debris too. As that's drying, use your black paint to re-establish the black surface and rims of the base. So just 48 minutes of hands-on painting time and this speed paint for Dayak is complete. Easy techniques, lots of corner cutting, but it looks cool for the tabletop. If you're looking for an easy way of getting a crew squad ready for gaming, you could use this guy to knock out a whole squad in one evening. I'll show you a few more easy steps we can do to make this paint job look a little better, but I'd love it if you could please like this video if you've enjoyed it so far, and if you're not subscribed yet, what's wrong with you? The current look of the model is quite dusty and drab, so let's add a bit of saturation. Mix brown, red and yellow paints in equal amounts, and use this hot brown in your detail brush to streak the paint down his cape. Use the dry brushed highlights as a guide of where to paint, and avoid the recesses, and try to leave a little bit of the previous brown showing through too. Next we'll make the gun look a little bit more loved by highlighting some of the panels with our original pale flesh tone thinned with a little water. Now we'll create our ivory mix again with one part flesh tone and one part white, and use this colour to catch his claws and random little spines coming out of his skin. Next we'll brighten up the silver elements using our detail brush and silver paint. Just lightly touch it against the silver parts to emulate tarnishing and scratches, and avoid the recesses entirely. To boost the contrast, we'll use our black wash and our detail brush to carefully line certain elements where the colours are similar, just to give them their own space. Places where the skin borders the clothing are a great place to do this. Now before I show you the finished model, a huge thank you to Alan, Jacob, Stefan, Matthew and Dalbert for supporting this channel this week. I don't do this for money at all, I genuinely really love the idea of helping people out, and I'm totally blown away every time someone donates, so thank you so much. So in less than one hour, Dayak Grack is painted up to a good tabletop standard and ready to munch his way through the Blackstone Fortress. Colour schemes like this are really fun to paint, as the natural tones are very forgiving for the speed painting techniques we've been using. In the next episode, I'll show you how to paint the mysterious Imperial Navigator, Espen Lucano. And I'll catch you then. Bye for now.